Hello and welcome to Feed Felden. This is episode 14. And the first thing we're going to do this morning is we're going to, or this afternoon, should I say, is we're going to buy field two. This is the third field that we're buying out of the four that we wanted to buy. And, yep, bought, nice and easy, no problems, we've got the money. It's got potatoes on it, but a half a field of potatoes. So we're going to get the Colossus Root Harvester. We're going to do that unrealistic. And we're going to do it at 46 miles per hour. I did try 125 miles an hour in a little bit of testing earlier on, but that just really, really was, well, basically it was overshooting the edges of the, of the field by too much, uh, crashing into traffic and all types of things. So I reckon with the width, with the bigger width um, and 46 miles an hour, we'll get that field done fairly quickly. Right, so we need a potato header. We'll do it at 20 meters. So it covers quite a, quite a big distance. And we'll get this leased. So both those machines are leased and there it is in all its glory. It's beautiful deep blue color. Let's get that all hooked up and then we'll go and get that started get the harvesting started. Well, this is going to be the last episode. We will uh, wrap things up during the course of this episode. And yeah, it's pretty much mission complete. Our farm is up and running. Um, I have set all the productions to either distribute or to sell directly it's just um yeah i just feel that it's time to end this episode oh this um, series should i say um because we're going to be getting into much of a muchness every day this is going to be pure routine so we bought three out of the four fields we will, during the course of this episode, buy the fourth field as well, just to complete the mission. I did say, I think in one of the last episodes, the last couple of episodes, that we would change the um, mission parameters to actually having planted these fields. But um, if, you, if you just take a look at the fields that we have already planted, I think we've got the gist of the idea. It would just be repeating that. So. Yeah, I think it's time to end it. It's been a fantastic series. I've really uh, have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed playing on this big map. I think I might continue playing it just every now and again, just for fun. Personally, just because it's nice to be able to play with all the big machines. I think this um, map, well, just before we get onto that, let's have a gander at this thing working at 46 miles an hour and 20 meters. Well, that's obviously not quite 20 meters because we wanted to make sure we had the edge. Fantastic. As you will see, coming to the end of the field now, we've, it's still going along at fully 7 miles an hour. And this is where the high speed was, it was just going careering straight on into that field. Is at this speed it stops just at the right spot it's perfect you don't really need to go much quicker than that i did also find that uh, when i was doing some testing that if i ran two of these at, at top speed 127 miles an hour it actually crashed the game right so we'll let that get it done we'll go and collect the products from the open air farms as I mentioned um, I have now set everything on the production side to either distribute or to sell it's just kind of what I do once um, 
once the the farm has kind of been established and it kind of moves things along we don't have to worry about making sure that we are clearing all the productions it's very boring of course to do that on a um, on a series uh, to show that on a series and that's why I feel that once again this is about the right time for this series to end as you can see in that short time that we've done that look how, many, look how far that has gone in terms of whipping out those uh, potatoes of course we did do the the um, ultra unrealistic sitting on there so it's going to um, it, it has a capacity of two and a half million um, liters that um, that lizards lizard lizards <laughs> that lizard uh, colossus that has a yeah two and a half million liter capacity so should just about do that whole field right let's just load this up now as you'll see we won't get a, f a full load because we've set it to to distribute so that'll all be going into the into the farm production the only thing that we haven't set to that we will have to continue to collect if we ca if I carry on playing the game is the eggs I know there is a way you can do it you can put it into a like a shed type thing um, but uh, it's not too too much of a problem I don't mind doing the odd bit it's just that we've got so many productions now so many goods being produced that it pretty much takes up a whole day just to um, sell the product so yeah we'll get the transport companies in it'll cost us a bit but um, once we've really working these four f four fields that we'll eventually have big fields efficiently, they bring in millions at a time. So in the, f in the future, well, the future of the farm looks bright. I'm thinking that perhaps what I should do is just as we're approaching the the farm is that um, I must consider connecting up the little industrial area that we that we built that's got the jam factory I think I need to put in connect that up to the road so that we're not driving across the the grass when we come in there we'll do that we'll do that during the course of the episode Let's get this delivered and then we can get on down to the to the bottom um, open air garden and go and pick up the rest that's there. Yeah, this production facility is working beautifully. I've also set that um, to either, well, it was distributing to make the onward productions or the production chains, but the we have uh, we have set the the end products to be to be selling automatically. Oh, well, when I say automatically, we get theoretically we get a uh, a transport company in to come and deliver it, pick it up, and deliver it for us. Just making sure that this has all been set to. still got plenty of stock in there they've worked very efficiently the one thing I do like about this map is that it does that the productions have been sped up the growth has been sped up so I would recommend that this is not played with pre precision farming just play it uh, very vanilla mainly strawberries which is what we want Right, we won't get a full load there either. We'll strap this in and we'll get that back to the farm. So 
So the only field that we haven't bought yet is this one to the left to the left of us there. So let's just put in this road quickly as we arrive back at the farm. I suppose it's a bit more than a farm really, isn't it? It's a farm. It's an industrial farm, really. <laughs> I have really loved this map. I think it's a, a brilliant map for playing on. It's also a brilliant map for learning on. Because you've got just about every production you can think under the sun. The principles of the productions are pretty much the same regardless of what you have so yeah I think it's probably a really good teaching map this let's get the strawberries in and delivered fabulous We've got, I think we've got some sunflower on here. We'll come deliver that to the to the oil factory. Or the oil production. Yeah, we've got, I mean, we've got some good supply chains going on there. And that's another reason why this is a good training map because it goes through the whole. You can do animals. We've got cows on here. We're doing milk. Um, there is another cow farm on the map as well that you can buy. Um, there are um, sheep farms and um, chicken farms and a horse farm I think on the map. So yeah, brilliant, brilliant learning map. I think this is perfect for that. Also the fields, once you've bought them, are very easy to work slight undulations in them but they're pretty square workers work well on them yeah the more i think about it the more this would be my go-to map if i was teaching somebody how to play farming simulator it might be a good idea for a seat for a little teaching series hmm yeah i think so maybe yeah well, that's a that's a good thought. We'll we'll consider it. Right, let's buy that fourth field, and then mission will be complete. That's it. All done. Down to not a lot of money compared to what we've had. We've still got seventy odd thousand in there. This thing is racing along. It's just about full. It's not going to complete completely uh, finish the the field but we'll do that after we've signed off yeah sometimes you just have to use uh, these unrealistic me methods so I think um, that's another thing that a map like this is good for is to um, is to be is to play with some of the unrealistic mods that get made. Shouldn't be long before this is full, filled up, and then we'll go and get that delivered. See how much we make out of that. See if we can push up that bank balance again. It's all full. Look okay, how that thing is rocking. <laughs> it's probably got to do with all the unreal unrealistic scripts that are in there. <laughs> right, let's see how much we where we can sell potatoes to. 
best price is down at the camping site. Uh, that's that's not too much a problem. It's not that far away. We don't have to load this off load this because this thing can do a bit of a pace, probably as fast. No, not quite quite as fast as the lorry can, but um, yeah, it can do 47 miles an hour. It's not going to take too long to get there. Right, so as I said, that's pretty much where we're going to end this whole series. We'll do this delivery. But just to recap really on what we've done, so we, we bought all four fields. We bought both the open air gardens that are on the map. We've got those fully producing. We've got the on-farm production producing a lot of different products. Not all the products, of course, but uh, a lot of different products. We've uh, we've built a mayonnaise factory, which is a something you don't often see. A fairly new mod on there, as is the dessert factory. We're making uh, some new products, as I said, mayonnaise, uh, um, muffins was very lucrative in the bakery and um, strawberry sorbet strawberry jam we've made so that's been pretty good uh, just as you see a tractor going we're still rolling those fields that we planted and that's another reason why they're so big they take so long to do that um, it would just be much much of a muchness. We've really gone through it. So, well, here we are at the camping grounds, and doesn't that just look fantastic at this early evening stage? We'll get that delivered. Let's see how much is made. Like everything else, not going to take too long to deliver it. Just look at that money climbing up there. Beautiful. There you the. Colossus is in all its glory. Fantastic sight. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Over a million. So we weren't poor for very long. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. And there we go. It's that delivered. We'll go back to the field and we'll go and finish that off. We'll put the potatoes we get from there directly into the into the production to make more French fries. French fries have been pretty lucrative as well. The only thing that we haven't sold uh, is we've made clothing but we didn't sell any but that's just the way it goes in any case that's where we're going to end off this series thank you so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed it if you have please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio